Hey everyone, how's it going? So I've just noticed there are some very cool features on Facebook groups, which I hadn't really noticed before. So I'm going to put in some, some sample text here. Now, first thing you might notice is there's bold and italic. So when you post something normally, you won't actually see this, but I think it's just in certain groups. Uh, it might be in all groups as standard, but it's certainly in this group I'm in right now. Bold. So I think this is actually going to be great because it'll um, make it a bit more easier to um, communicate sometimes. So we've got bold. Bold is generally used if you want to highlight something, obviously, and make it kind of stand out. You've then got italic, which kind of tilts it to the side. It's kind of great for sarcastic quotes and stuff you know i'm really glad they're adding this to facebook because when you're sarcastic you can kind of put something in italic sometimes or if you're kind of making a point that isn't entirely serious or you know it could like you could use it for a lot of different things so i'm gonna take off bold and italic and i'm going to go over to here which is the margin now you might notice there's h1 which is header one h2 which is header two you've got list then you've got numbered list and then you've got the quotation mark so h1 this is big and bold so this is sort of like the header h2 is a bit smaller but it's a bit bigger than normal text bullet points so how this works is you would go to the end of a sentence and you would press return and this will create a new bullet point this is really good news i actually think but it's, it's been a real shame that we haven't had this up till now because you actually can communicate a lot more effectively. And then we've got your quotation marks. I'll put in some sample text. Then we can use quotation marks. Now obviously bold and italics are still being applied when you want them. But yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. So now you can quote somebody else and it'll appear as a quote in your post. Yeah, these actually help people communicate and I'm so glad they've introduced them. I tell you what, just while we're here, let's just get rid of all of this and go back just by pressing backspace. You've got your backgrounds here. So there's quite a lot of different colors and images and things. And you've then got this icon at the end here, which gives you a whole load more backgrounds and things. So. This has been a feature for a while, but I think they've just updated it. So yeah, all in all, this is fantastic. And I guess while we're here, we could just have a little look at smileys, okay? Now in Windows 10, there is a really cool shortcut where you will press Windows key, full stop, okay? And now you've got this really cool little menu that pops up. And these will be um, emojis I've used recently. You've um, got the search feature here, so I could type in dog. And then I get three different dogs pop up, okay? So anyway, I really hope you found this useful and well done Facebook for actually making communication a little bit easier, okay? Nice one, enjoy your day and bye. And please subscribe, honestly, it makes such a huge difference. It really does, but thank you. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a massive thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe um give this a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down it's up to you entirely but uh yeah please uh let me know in the comments what you thought and thank you very much for watching